Okay, let's look at a very nice and useful application of magnetic and electric forces on moving charges. And this doesn't necessarily have to just apply using the Faraday's law, but we saw, I showed you in the previous video that uh, motional EMF is one way to think about Faraday's law. So suppose I have this block of metal right here. It's like a rectangular cube. And I'm running some current through it. And I don't, and it's in a constant magnetic field B. And I don't know anything about the charge, but let's just say there's some charges moving through there and there are positive charges moving in the direction of current. Well, what's going to happen to that charge? There, if I draw just that charge, I have QV this way. I have B going into the board. So then I can pull out my little, my little thingy here. QV, like that. B is that way. So there's a magnetic force on there. FB equals Q. V cross B, and the direction of that's going to be to the right. So what's going to happen over time is that my metal is going to look like this. I'm going to get positive charges on this side. They're pushed over here, and that's going to leave negative charges over there. Now there's going to be an electric field inside going that way. So I'm going to have two forces on this. I'm going to have the magnetic force pushing this way, FB, and the electric force pushing this way, Fe. And though that will continue to happen to have charges build up over here until those two forces are the same. So the electric force, Fe, is Q times E. So everything's perpendicular here. So this is going to keep happening until E equals Vb. Technically, it'd be Qe equals Qvb, but the Qs cancel. Now, one other thing, I can find the change in potential. I'll call that delta V W because it's about the width. I can just measure that, and I'll use that later. But by measuring that, I actually could tell if this is positive charge on the left or negative charge on the, on the left. Okay, now, suppose I don't have positive charges. Suppose I have negative moving charges. And so, for the same... Uh, circuit, these negative charges will be moving that way to make the electric current going this way. What's going to change? Well, let's draw my forces. So here's my negative charge. Here is QV is down to the right still. Even though V is up, Q is negative, so Q is V is that way. B is into the board, FB is that way. So now in this case, I'm going to get the magnetic force is to the right, I'm going to get negative charges on the right and positive charges on the left. And I would get a different delta V. So by measuring the this perpendicular voltage through this, I can determine whether the mobile charge carriers are positive or negative. In most cases we see that moving charges doesn't matter if you have positive charges moving down or negative charges moving up, but in this case it does. So you can actually detect that change in voltage. Now, warning, this is a very, very small voltage difference here. So you need a really good uh, measurement tool to, to deter determine that. But that is the Hall effect, this side potential buildup due to a magnetic field. But wait, what if I do this backwards? What if I don't know the value of the magnetic field? I can use this to calculate that. So this is a Hall effect probe, in fact. I'm not going to draw another picture. This is uh, a small piece of sensor up here with an electric current that runs through it, and then you measure the perpendicular voltage on that to determine the value of the magnetic field. You have to know the width of the thing, and you know, need to know some things about the drift velocity and the current and all that stuff. But what you do is you put this sensor in the magnetic field. Uh, a voltage builds up on the side, just like this, and you measure that voltage. And once you know that voltage, you can then go back. If I know the value of the current and the drift velocity and the charge carriers and the width of the, the sensor and all that stuff, I could calculate the magnetic field. Your phone detects a magnetic field, and it uses that to as a compass. Uh, so it has one of those in there, too. But it's a very, very small magnetic field detector, and it works pretty well. And it's all based on the Hall effect.